Good evening, California. This is uh, Shankar Singham with uh, Yes California, the uh, referendum to for an independent California, the study for an independent California. Um, just hearing a lot of stuff out there in internet land uh, since CalExit and uh, Yes California have been blowing up uh, after Mr. After Donald uh, won the uh, election. Um, Yes, California's been blowing up, but Cal exit has been spreading like wildfire. And uh, yes, a lot of us want to leave the union. Why? And I know the rest of the country is upset. You guys uh, hate us. You guys think we're weirdos. You want us to fall off into the ocean. But you love our money. And we understand that. It's a lot of money. And if we did leave, your GDP would go sinking down. Um, we understand that. In fact, once we leave, we're... We're thinking our GDP is probably going to pass you guys in about 15, 20 years. So that's how we're looking at it. And why would it uh, pass you guys? Because we're smarter. That's why. Um, sorry to sound so conceited, but it's true. And I'm going to tell you why here in a bit. Um, so the number one question is um, from not only from folks that ask about Yes Cal, but the number one thing that, uh, that are talked about in, in Internet land is uh, the military. What's California going to do about uh, the military, how are they going to defend themselves? Well, guys, you know what? Me personally, I don't think we need a military here in California. Uh, I'm not sure who's go who is going to invade us. The only people I can think of that's going to invade California would be the United States military. And uh, we're going to do, California is going to handle it like how any country handles uh, an invasion by the United States. Um, we're going to get our ass kicked. That's just what happens. It's the United States military. Whenever, wherever they go somewhere, that country turns into rubble. So there's really nothing we can do about that. Um, if you're going to invade us, go ahead and invade us. And I hear the most funniest stories, guys. You guys are posting stuff about uh, being tactical, coming in from the north, uh, tank, uh, huge tank legions coming in from the south, and uh, battalions of this and that. It's uh, quite hilarious. Uh, guys, come on. If you guys are going to attack us, come on in and attack us. Uh, uh, you can shoot us, you know, we, the stronger of us are going to stand behind our weak and our poor, and you can kill us first before you uh, slaughter the weak and the poor, Californians. Um, but uh, you will take us out first. That's our military right there, okay? So great job on uh, on uh, attacking California, and, and, and uh, way to get that GDP back, too. That's really going to help uh, boost your GDP when, after that attack. So, uh, again, I don't think the United States is going to attack us, but if they do, uh, oh well. Okay, uh, another country is going to, you think Mexico is going to invade us? Um, we love Mexico. Uh, yeah, they're going to invade us? Yeah, if they do invade us, you know what? We have an army. It's a nice, it's an army to handle the uh, Mexican army. It's called the California Highway Patrol. They do a great job. They've got stops every uh, 50 or 100 miles. Uh, they will stop the Mexican army at their tracks, okay? Uh, the next thing that most guys are seeing commenting on the internet is uh, the uh, <laughs> Spanish being an official language. Okay, so what if Spanish is the official language of California? I really don't care. Um, I speak a little bit of Spanish. Uh, most Californians speak a little bit of Spanish enough to get around. Uh, our Spanish speakers speak a little bit of American or speak a little bit of Californian to get around. So, not too worried about that. Uh, I don't see why it would be the official language unless we put it up to vote. Uh, it's not going to be the official language, I don't think. And even if it is, I really don't care. Okay, so, uh, don't really see the big deal in Spanish become the official language. And then that leads on to the next one. Guys, why do you have, why are you opening your borders and letting so many Mexicans in? Um, well, you know what, besides the fact that we love the Mexican people, we love the Mexican culture, we love the Mexican food, they're hard workers, we're glad that they're here in California, we invite them into California. Uh, why? Why, guys? Because they do the jobs that you Americans will not do. They do the stuff that Americans won't do. Here in California, we have about a $60, $70 billion agriculture industry. We have many, many crops, fruits, and nuts to pick, and that's jobs that Americans, like you over there in Arkansas, and you over there in Georgia, and you over there in Texas, will not come over here and pick those crops. So we hire Mexicans to come up here and do it. And guys, we assign them an ITIN number, that's a tax ID number, and then when they get paid, they pay their taxes back to the state. They pay their taxes back to California. Not to the federal government, to California. So they contribute back to us, okay? We're glad to have them here. Want more of them to come here because we have a lot more work to do, okay? Uh, and, and we give them driver's licenses, why? 
Because if I get in the fender bender with someone, I hope they have insurance. Because if they don't have insurance, my rate goes up and everybody else's rates go up. That's why they have a driver's license. It's called Logic, guys. And it works here in California, okay? And you guys hate us for it. And you guys believe that Mexicans are out there dealing drugs and, uh, and serial killing people. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, you know, the people that shoot cops and kill cops, every time they, they, there's something on the news, it's always some sort of minority. Just Google up who kills the most cops. Uh, white, black, Hispanic, and see which race kills the most cops. See which race commits the most crime. White, black, Hispanic, Indian like me. Uh, Google it up. See who commits the most crime, guys, all right? Because uh, all those stories and rumors that you guys believe that Mexicans are coming here and committing crimes, they're not. They're super hard workers and the nicest people in the world. And um, I'm sure when they invade us with their army, uh, those, they'll have some relatives here that they can, <laughs> they can stay at, okay? Uh, next thing is climate, guys. Yeah, we believe in climate change. I hope you guys believe in climate change because the, there is global warming. Now, is it man-made? Who cares? The most important thing about uh, global warming is the, is the energy efficiency products that are coming out. That is what is the most important. Our great si California scientist, Elon Musk, is, came out with uh, a brand new solar panel. He's come out with the electric cars. Um, that's how we see it. We want electricity. We want solar, okay? We don't believe in oil. We don't believe in coal. That's just the past. You guys love oil. You guys love coal. In fact, our nuclear plants were shutting down. You guys love nuclear. You guys can have our nuclear weapons. You guys can have our nuclear bombs. Come and grab them. Okay, we don't believe in it. We know you guys love it. You guys love all the power, nuclear uh, countries you guys want to invade. New Iran is nuclear and North Korea is nuclear. And you guys see that as a huge threat. You know what? We don't. We don't see that as a huge threat. We think that's a thing of the past. Yeah, we understand the, the physics of, uh, of, of, nu of, thermo of nuclear, but uh, it's, it's, it's outdated. Uh, it, the physics go beyond the sun beyond the science of it. We understand how it is working and we apply that to other applications, okay? So um, solar would be a huge example of that. And guys, that is just collecting the sun's rays and getting electricity out of that. It's, so, it's a beautiful thing. The panels are relatively cheap. I know you guys don't have solar in the rest of the United States. You guys aren't even thinking about it yet. But here in California, it's huge. We have commercials for it. Uh, we have a contracting industry for it. We have solar panels on our houses, on our schools, on our yards, on our parking lots. Everywhere is going solar because it is way energy efficient. It's using a tenth of the amount of uh, electricity that it uh, needed uh, on conventional. Uh, we're polluting a lot less. It's just the way that it's going to go. You combine that with LEDs and guys, um, I just gave you a little bit of the secret of how California's GDP is going to pass the US GDP in about 20 years. It's just, it's, we're going to be a free energy society. Uh, that's our goal. That's what, how our governor sees California. Uh, our great Jerry Brown shares the same vision as me at least. Um, and we have the same goal for the country and that's how we see it. So I hope that put a rest or it maybe even angered some of you guys that uh, how we're looking at the military, how we're looking at climate and being energy efficient, how we look at um, our Spanish speaking people that live here in California. Yeah, it's all true. Um, and it's going to happen. Now, whether secession, I'm sorry, independence takes place in two years, in five years, in 10 years, in 20 years. Guys, it's going to happen, and uh, we here at Yes are going, to, are going to work hard and make sure that happens. We're going to try to communicate the right message to our fellow Californians to see, hey, you know, we're better than the we're better than the rest of the United States. Uh, uh, us, the United States, stopping our research on on energy efficiency that is really the breaking point for us. Um, you can't stop us uh, technologically advancing. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I, I we know you guys want to keep keep yourself stupid. I don't understand what. What the, the problem is with uh, being energy efficient. Oh, that's right. You guys uh, work for the oil companies uh, and all of your special interest lobbyists. And that's where $350 billion of our taxpayer money goes. Right to Washington, D.C. to into the pockets of special interest oil companies, banks, and, and the, your multi- national conglomerates. Guys, if you guys invest in the United States, look at what we're doing. We're trying to become independent. Take a note and watch how we do it. Because if you think Washington cares about you, they don't. They care about the banks and the conglomerates and the, and the corporations because that's who is getting your money. And that's who is... Uh, if you don't believe me, look at the cabinet and then look at the president himself. Look at it. They're all in it for themselves, guys. And uh, California is not going to fall in that trap. Uh, we can't go down again. We're preparing for a recession. Uh, with this administration coming up. That's how we're looking at it. Um, it's not going to happen with us. We are uh, going to leave sooner or later. And uh, the more that Trump says things and the more that Trump 
the administration does some more stuff. At, we, we're noticing um, a huge swell in our membership. So uh, go Trump. Uh, that's all I got to say. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and post them down in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, other than that, you guys have a great and glorious night. Good night, guys.